Welcome to the presentation on Level 2 Edition. Well, I think we should get started with some problems, and hopefully as we work through them, you'll, you'll uh, have an understanding of, of how to do these types of problems. Let's see. Let me make sure the pen tool is correct. OK. Let's say I had uh, 11 plus 4. So at first you'd say, hey, Sal, you know, 11 plus 4, I've never, you know, I don't know how to add two digit numbers yet. Well, there's a couple ways we can think about this. First, I'll show you um, how all you have to know is how to add one digit numbers, and you could use something called carrying to solve the whole problem. And then we'll actually try to visually represent it to show you how you could actually do this type of problem in your head as well. So what you do with these types of problems is you first look at this, the, the rightmost digit on the 11. Uh, we call this the ones place, right? Because this one is one, and we call this the tens place. And I know I'm going to confuse you a lot, but that's that's just so how everything looks. Uh, that's so everything looks easier later on. Okay. So you look at this ones place. You say there's a one there. You take that one and you add it to the number right below it. So one plus four is five. You knew that, right? Right. You know that one plus four is equal to five. And that's all I did here. I just said this one plus this four is equal to five. Now I go to this one. This one plus, well, there's nothing here other than a plus sign, and that's not a number. So this one plus nothing is 1. So we put a, a 1 here. And we get 11 plus 4 is equal to 15. And just so you know that the system actually works, um, let, let's actually draw it out in a couple of different ways just to give you the intuition of 11 plus 4. So if I had, a, let's say, 11 balls, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I, mean, I should do it like we do in Sesame Street. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, actually, I think I messed up. It's 11. Anyway, it's, <laughs> it's early. I'm, I'm being a little ridiculous. OK, so that's 11, and we're going to add 4 to it. So 1, 2, Three, four. So now all we have to do is count how many total um, circles or balls we have now. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. And I don't recommend that you do this every time you do a problem because it'll it'll take you a long time. But hey, if you ever get confused, it's better to take a long time than to get it wrong. Uh, and let's think about another way of, of representing this, because I think a different um, visual approaches appeal in different ways to different people. Let's draw a number line. I don't know if you've seen a number line before, but you're going to see it now. And a number line, all I do is I draw out all the numbers in order. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm doing them small, so I know I can get to 15. 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and so on. And, and, it, and these arrows mean that the numbers keep going in, in both directions. And I know this is a little early for you to learn this, but actually the numbers can actually keep going to the left below 0 as well. I'll, I'll leave you to think about that. But anyway, so let's go back to this problem. So we have 11. So let me circle 11. Let me see where 11 is on the number line. 11 is here, right? This is 11. And we're adding 4. So when you add, that means we're going to go, we're going we're gonna to increase 11 by 4. So that when you increase, we're going to go up the number line, right? Uh, or we're going to go to the right on the number line, because the numbers are getting bigger. So we'd go 1, 2, 3, 4. Bam! We're at 15. Once again, this takes a long time, but if you ever uh, get confused or you forget what 1 plus 4 is, although I don't think you should, then you could just um, do it this way. Let's do some maybe harder problems now. Let's do let's do twenty eight plus seven. Okay, eight plus seven. Uh, I'll tell you frankly, even to this day, I, I sometimes get confused with eight plus seven. So let's 
if you if you know the answer, then then you you, can, you already know how to do this problem. You could just write whatever the answer is right here. But let's let's draw it out on the number line, just because I think um, a little bit of uh, just a more basic addition practice isn't uh, unwarranted at this point. So we could draw it with the number line again, eight plus seven. And this time I'm not going to start at zero. I'll start at like five, because you know if you keep going, you'll get to zero eventually. So let's say you get five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and so on. It'll keep going all the way to 100 and 1,000 and a million, billion, trillion. So what are we doing? We start at 8 because we're saying 8 plus 7, right? We want to figure out what 8 plus 7 is. So we start at 8, and we're going to add 7 to it. Let me change colors. So we go 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that 15 shows up again. So 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. And over time, as you do practice, I think you'll, you'll memorize these that 8 plus 7 is 15, or you know, whatever, 6 plus 7 is 13, or any of these. But um, in, in the interim, it, it actually doesn't hurt to do this number line, because you actually are visualizing what's happening. And you could do it with the circles as well. So you know 8 plus 7 is 15. So this is, this is, this is a new thing you're going to learn right now. You don't write the whole 15 down here. You write the 5. Right? You write this 5 right here. And then that 1, you carry the 1. You put it up there. And I think in a future presentation, I'll explain why this works. And, and, and may, maybe you might even kind of have an intuition, because the 1 is in the tens place. And this is the tens place. I don't want to confuse you. So you have that 1, and now you add it to the 2. And you get 35, right? Because 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, right? And so you're done, 35. And you might ask, well, does that make sense that 28 plus 7 is 35? And there's a couple ways I'd like to think about this. Well, 8 plus 7 we know is 15, right? And I, I don't know how comfortable you are with higher numbers, but 18 plus 7, so let's look, look at this pattern. 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. 18 plus 7, and you're probably saying, Sal, where are you getting the 18 from? But just take my word for it. 18 plus 7 is 25. 28 plus 7 is equal to 35, which is the one that we just did. That's a check mark. And if you kept going, you said 38 plus 7. That actually equals 45. So you might see a little pattern here. And then you can just sit and think about this for a little bit if you, if you like. Maybe you pause the video. Another way you could think about this, if you, don't, if you still don't believe me, is to say, OK, if I have 28, if I add 1, I get 29. If I add 2, I get 30. If I add 3, I get 31. If I add 4, I get 32. If I add 5, I get 33. If I add 6, I get 34. And if I add 7, I get 35 again, right? All I did is I kept saying, oh, if I add one more, I'll get a, one, a larger, a little bit, a number a little bit larger. So let's do some more problems. And I think we'll do a couple more, and we'll just do a little faster. Because I think you, you might get uh, what we're doing here now. Let's do a hard one. Let's do 99 plus 9. So what's 9 plus 9? So if you, if you don't know what it is, you could work it out either using the number line or drawing the circles. and. You know that's a fair way to do it. Although you should eventually kind of know it. Nine plus nine, it turns out, is eighteen. Nine plus nine is equal to eighteen. So nine plus nine, you put the eight down here, and you carry the one. And now you just say one plus nine. Well, you know what one plus nine is. One plus nine is equal to ten. And so there's no way to carry that this one. So you write the whole thing down here. So ninety-nine plus nine is equal to 108. Let's do one more problem. Let's say 56 plus 7. Well, what's 6 plus 7? Well, 6 plus 7 is 13, right? If, if you get confused, draw out everything again. And then you get 1 plus 5. 1 plus 5 is 6, 63. And you might want to give yourself a bunch of problems. And, and I think you're also now, uh, if you understand what we did, ready to try the level two addition problems. Have